Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Question Mark, and this is a spotlight on Spectra. Alright, that's it, I'm done, I'm out. Bye. No. In all seriousness, this is a arcade style music to the beat sort of procedurally generated racing type game. If that was a mouthful that didn't seem to make any sense, it's probably because it didn't. Because, yeah, that made no fucking sense at all. This is a game that has been out for a little while on uh, the Windows Store. The Windows 8 Store thing that, as far as I know, nobody ever friggin' uses because... Why? Seriously, why? Uh, it's also been on Windows Mobile phones. Again, no one uses those. So why? But it is coming to Steam. You know, I might be a little biased on the whole Windows Mobile thing. But I don't believe Windows Mobile was ever designed for gaming. And I, <laughs> I know Windows 8 was like huge metal rod shoved up every gamer's ass. It's like a steel girder. All right, anyway, enough of the uh, graphic, <laughs> graphicness of the graphics. I don't even know what's going on in my brain today. That is just unfortunate. Anyway, this is Spectra. <laughs> this is a game, it's coming to Steam. Well, it's, by the time you see this video, it'll probably be about an hour before it's released on Steam. So yeah. That, that's pretty much where we're sitting. This, when I first saw it, when I first thought of it, and first considered it, and first all the things, basically when I was told about it, I was thinking, oh god, it's another one of those games that I am going to be horrible at because you have to, like, move to the beat. You know, just... I've been racking my brain around the name of another game that was similar to it, and I, I can picture it. A, several there's a lot of games that are similar to it but one specific one that I'm trying to think of from several years ago and it's just it is eluding me <laughs> it is completely eluding me uh it's similar to that that like that's what I thought where you kind of had to move to the beat of the music um, that one you could use your own tracks this one is all chip tune there's 10 tracks. 10 chiptune tracks that are made by Chipzil. Let's get onto the credits here, see if we can... Yeah, it's going so slow, I'll get bored. Anyway, so <laughs> these tracks are made by Chipzil, and you the, the levels are sort of random. They're based around the music, but they are slightly different every time. And if that makes little sense, it probably should. So, this is where I am now. So, when you switch, it obviously plays the music. This is nothing like what I thought it was. And as you can see, I'm one star on all of the, <laughs> the ones I've done, except for 07, because I haven't done that. Um, except for 01. I almost, I made it 76.3% to the end of the track. Now, you might be thinking, you couldn't even beat the fucking track? The hell? But that's kind of the point of it. So let's go to seven. Beyond the Cosmos. So best score is zero. Track completion is zero. So let's hop in here. And press any button to continue initializing. So here we are at the starting line. And it's just going to show us you know, a little bit of the beginning of the track, because it's not going to show us anything. Alright, so let's press a button, and we just start going. There is no controls for this outside of left and right. And you collect the... You collect these little squares, and... Damn it. No. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> it's trying to show something. And, yeah. Let's try this again. So, there is no real menu to speak of. There we go. You saw that? You see that nice? And plus 35? That's 
I guess equivalent to like a trick where if you come close but don't actually hit these I want to I want to say it's like uh, I was think what a crazy taxi that's it I knew it was a driving game I almost said Grand Theft Auto crazy taxi where if you get really close but don't actually collide with another car or pedestrian or I, I'm trying to remember. I always hit that thing. Trying to remember exactly what it was. <laughs> I am in a perfect spot. Until, of course, I had to do that. Um. Adam! Damn it. <laughs> yeah. The, you you kind of get the point of that. You kind of get the point. And obviously, you just keep going. I don't know if you just need to, like, play the game, like, play the track to unlock the other track, or if you have to get to a specific point. But, yeah, I'm just not even trying anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to think, and it's not working. So this particular one is fairly boring at the beginning. They're all actually, let's just, let's just call it as it is. They're all pretty boring at the beginning. They're pretty much a straight shot. And these blocks, I don't even know what else to call them other than blocks, are fairly spread apart. But then it kind of suddenly, as it does this. Dang it. It is so weird. Like, at first, I'm just like, okay, what? who cares? Like, first level, I'm just like, okay, this just seems kind of pointless and dull. And, of course, I kept falling off because I'm just, like, bonking into things. Didn't know anything. There's no, like, tutorial. There's no explanation on anything. Oh, God. I get... I'm out. It just dumps you in. It just vomits you right in, and just, that's it. That, that, that is what happens. You just start off, and you're like, okay, wh what am I doing? What am I doing? What are the controls? They have multiple... I hit that every goddamn time. They have multiple controls, like right now I'm using a controller, but I'm using the D-pad on it as opposed to the analog stick, because I find the analog stick to be more cumbersome. Like, it, it seems to have analog movement, but I can't really tell, because as you can see, I'm using the analog stick now, and he just kind of goes. It's just, it's all or nothing. The only difference is it's a little smoother. Uh, that's about it. So, doing it with the D-pad, it's just 100%. That's it. It's done. Now, you can use uh, WASD. Oh, why did I move? That was actually the perfect spot. <laughs> I'm just going to run into everything. God damn it. So, you can use WASD, or I, I guess just AD, but... <laughs> So you can use AD, or you can, oh, damn it, dang it, it's <laughs> trying to get in the perfect spot again and that just didn't work. Or you can use the arrow keys. There are no rebindable keys, there's no options at all. Like this uses the Unity Launcher to do all of its configurations. I thought I was in the sweet spot there, but apparently I wasn't. Woohoo! Almost, almost! It decided to keep me on the track. Sure, I was gonna go under it. Oh, like that! So, it uses the Unity Launcher for um, graphics and everything. I have not tried to rebind keys in it. Um, I don't know whether it uses the default Unity bindings. I, I'm really not sure every goddamn time. <laughs> I, 
I, I don't know, I because I haven't tried. But there are no real graphics options. There's a couple presets, three to be precise. There's like low, medium, high. I really should try a different track. I'm not getting anywhere on this one. Um, but there's no audio options. There's no anything. And I find with this, I think I'm in the sweet spot. Oh yeah, there's a sweet spot. I find, oh, and we're done. <laughs> I find the audio, like I have the audio turned down to like 25% in Windows because the sound is so loud. Like I even, I have my headphones turned down really low as well because I'm trying a different, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing there. <laughs> I'm using a different recording software, and it seemed that it came out, the audio came out really quiet in the recording software. So, I, I'm not... I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I find it very, very loud. Very loud. So, audio options... I, I, I say are required in every game. There, there's no excuse for not having them, unless for some strange reason you have no sound, and then let's just not go there. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really don't understand why you wouldn't have... Jesus Christ, what am I doing? It's, it's because I'm talking. That That's entirely why this is happening. I don't know why you wouldn't have audio options, especially in a game where it's all just music. Maybe maybe they were just considering it as you can just use your Windows audio sliders, but that's not a, a valid, that's not a valid way of doing it. That is lazy. That's what that is. Because, let's be honest, not everybody wants to alt-tab out of their game Nobody, not many people that I know want to go into a game, have their ears bleed every time, and then have to alt out, alt tab out, and change it. Windows sometimes remembers the application settings, but in my experience, it's kind of a crapshoot. God. Eh. Trying to think, trying to focus, trying to focus. So that, that is probably my major complaint. Ow. <laughs> eh. Just trying to, just try to get through this. This is just insane. All right, this is kind of what I'm talking about. They start off fairly easy and then they just go crazy it's like a false sense of security on that one the next thing i'm not a fan of was what just happened there those things that come up it's like you can't skip any of it you can't skip the progress going you can't skip any of it it's just you want to just get back in or you want to go back into the track so you just i end up hammering a which automatically makes me retry but i wanted to go to the next course it's it's kind of annoying. I feel those high score things should pop up. This one just starts off crazy. It's like it's one of the later levels. I just drove right into that. Um, mm. <laughs> I should go to the first level when I'm trying to talk. Holy crap. Yeah, I feel that that could be better served as just being on the screen and not, like, constantly popping up. It's... I, I personally don't like it. It's not a detrimental thing. It's just... I, I feel that that's just annoying. You know, cool, new track. Cool, new track. Cool, new track. <laughs> it's just like, okay, next track. <laughs> it's 
it's cumbersome. It's cumbersome. Uh, graphically, it is simple as shit. <laughs> what else can you say? It's simple neon lights forming things. There's, there's not much to say about it. It is what it is. It's tremendously low poly. It does its, does its job very well. It is not hideous. It's solid colors or not color, not solid in the case of the blocks. And just running into everything again. Talking and driving, talking and driving. So you'll probably notice that a lot of the tracks do seem very similar. Like this one is very, very similar to the previous one, at least the, as far as we got. And that's probably because they only have so many different layouts that can be done. And there's really only so much that can be done. Because it all has to be kind of bound within, you know, the ability of the controls. Like, none of these turns... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> none of these turns are hard to do. Like, if there was no obstacles or anything, for the most part... This would be a very, very easy game. You throw the obstacles in there, it becomes tremendously challenging. And these speed pads. Oh, God. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, yeah, my first, first, first impressions were, seriously, this, this, this is a game. This, this is, this is what it is. But within a two minutes after that, shit got real, yo. <laughs> Dear God, just flew right off. All right, let, let me show you the first level. This, this is where I was like, okay, seriously? And you're like, okay, great. Huh? <laughs> you know, it's it's pretty pretty basic. You're just like na 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 better. Like, this one, uh, I don't remember if it has any boost pads. Like, basically, you sit here for most of it. This is what I found, and this is where I was just like, this is so boring. You know, I can get these, but it, it doesn't do anything but up my score, which, let's be fair, is just meaningless to me. You know, I didn't know about, you know, that whole getting the nice bonus. And then shortly here, I believe shit gets real. I'm getting really close to those. Uh, where is it? Well, things are starting to get a little bit more hectic here. This is where I started going, oh, maybe there's a little bit more to this than I initially thought. Let's let's keep giving this a go here. It's just like, okay, no, we're back to just staying over here. And yeah, this one does, uh, does, this one does have a boost pad. And you're just like, all right. Oh, crap. <laughs> just trying to get in the sweet spots here. And the sweet spots are getting harder to come by. There we go. Now you're just like, what the? And actually, I think I've uh, gotten, oh no, I got 70%. 
And you're just like, okay, okay, at this point. And I've obviously done the other one, so... Oh, shit. So I'm just like, okay, okay. But at that at that point, I'm like, holy crap! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! As I've, I was also using the analog stick, which, like I said before, is harder to control. So, things that I feel the game needs, I'm going to collide with that, yep. And of course I collide with that, because I'm trying to correct it. Things I feel the game needs are definitely some options menu. Uh, rebindable keys are a must. I don't particularly like the Unity options. I, I, I feel that is kind of part of the cause for Unity's, I guess, dislike or the disdain for Unity is that pre-launcher. Nice, sweet spotted. Yeah, I... now that's of course me. And I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know where I'm trying to go with that. I definitely have thoughts on it, but I'm not sure how I want to articulate those thoughts. That was a good save by the barrier. And we're down. So it's definitely, definitely an interesting game. Let's just let's just leave it at that. It's definitely interesting. Uh, achievements. It has achievements. I have apparently done one out of 24. Oh, these are all complete tracks. Yeah, yeah, no. Now, apparently there's difficulties. I, I have no idea how to, you know, get to the difficulties. Ah, the toggle mode. So that's hardcore mode. What is hardcore mode? Let's give that a try. Didn't even see that button. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy Okay, yeah, yeah, that uh Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's that is hardcore mode. That changes the track completely. The only thing that's the same I'm just gonna ram into everything. Uh one thing to note is well you can do what I did but if you have no points now I'm not sure if this is the, how it works in hardcore mode and suddenly it got easier um, if you have no points you can still ram into things you don't just die as far as I've been able to tell there is no like death all right hardcore mode is a little bit much for me. <laughs> Definitely a little bit much. Wow. That is that that one's intense. Alright. Um Yeah, definitely a cute little game. Like it, it's it's cute. <laughs> it, that's that's really all I've got, is it's cute. Let's try Aurora Borealis again, see how far we can go in that. Would I continue playing it? Mm, uh, on and off. This would be more of a kind of, you know what? I feel like doing something that seems mindless, but is in fact actually a right real pain in the ass. And then I'd probably regret it. Uh, it does give me a headache. After a while, like in the time that we have been playing just recording this. I'm not sure exactly how long that is, but it's starting to make me feel a little woozy, and I'm not sure exactly why that is. Like, I'm going through, and I was when I was first trying to figure this out, I was trying to figure out why it was making me feel a little nauseated, 
And I have no idea. Like, it, there's no real blur to speak of. Like, for the most part, I'm not even watching my ship. I'm watching the track kind of come up. It's, it's very strange. So I, I'm I'm not sure. I I highly doubt it's just the spinning. Like that spinning motion that you were getting right at the start and at the end. That that will make me feel nauseated. So I, I'm really not sure. Like obviously your mileage will vary. And this um Ah shit. <laughs> This could just be a symptom of me being tired because I'm kind of exhausted. I haven't been sleeping well. But, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I've babbled far more than I've said anything constructive with this game. <laughs> it's fun. It is not a rhythm-based. You don't you have to be all Guitar Hero Pro for it. It's got some pretty good music, and I, for the most part, tend to ignore music. It's just a background thing. Desperately needs an options menu for audio control, preferably in-game, key bindings, and graphics settings. Um, obviously, the Unity Launcher is acceptable. I just find that it's a little cheap. Now, I'm not sure how to get rid of the Unity Launcher from, obviously, their standpoint, not from mine. I can't, <laughs> but I, I, I believe it's something that can be done in all versions of Unity, but I'd have to look into that and I just, I haven't. <laughs> if it's the same price that it is on the Windows Store, currently I have not seen any official pricing listed for it, other than what you see on the Windows Mobile Store and the, well, Windows Store. And that's $3.99 for the Windows Mobile or for the Windows Store, and I, I only I, I only saw it in uh, I believe euros. I'm trying to remember if it was pounds or euros that it showed it, but on the Windows Mobile Store it was $3.09, which I'm guesstimating is going to be pretty close to $3.99. So four bucks. Uh, obviously, this is U.S. that I'm talking. So, probably if it, it's going to be around that on Steam. If it's that, I think it's a really good deal. You know, it's not a long game, but it's obviously got a fair amount of content. You know, like you go into your track select, you've got your 10, your 10 tracks, your 10 songs, and you've got uh, hardcore mode, which is ridiculous. Just, just fucking ridiculous. So, it, it's definitely worth that price. I would say probably could go to $10, and I'd say it's worth it. But that's me. You know, I'm not everyone. So definitely check it out. Link will be in the description as always. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I'm probably annoying the crap out of people. And I actually have one more complaint that I almost forgot about. One more issue. If you hit the back button on your controller or the escape key on your keyboard, it just closes. Now, you might be thinking, okay, that's what it's supposed to do. No. It should ask you. Especially with the controller. Because you know how easy it is to hit the back button? <laughs> it's pretty damn easy on some of these controllers. Some of them, it's far enough away. Some others, it's pretty damn easy. It should always confirm. Always confirm. Never assume. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Uh, if the video looked like shit, let me know because... And I'm not talking about my playing because my playing was shit. We all know this. That's obvious. I'm using a different recording software for this, so hopefully it turns out well. Um, yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>